In this video, I'm going to show you one click mini programming in Reaper. Now, the idea of one click mini programming is that we can click on mouse one time, left clicking, to create nodes in Reaper. Let's take a look. I have a project set up here with a guitar loop and some drum samples I want to play along with it. Let's hear it now. So if we go to this track, we can see I have a kick sample, a snare sample, a hi-hat, an open hat, a triangle, an open triangle, and a percussion sound. So we're going to trigger these with MIDI using different notes for each sample. So I'm going to start off by creating a MIDI item, control on the PC, command on the Mac, and make it two bars long. Then we can double click it to open up the MIDI editor. And it looks like this. Now I want to change the piano roll to named notes for drums. So I'll click right here and it changes it to named notes. As you can see, our samples are already named, which we could trigger in here. And the way to create notes is with two different options. We could double click right here, double click again to delete it, or we could drag with our mouse like this. But I want to do it with one click or left click. So I'm going to go to my preferences, scroll down to editing behavior, and choose mouse modifiers. Then we'll go to the context, MIDI piano roll, and switch this to left click, and change this action to insert note, just insert. And now, we can just click in any of these boxes and it creates a note. I want to switch the notes from rectangles to look like this, triangles, which makes more sense to me for drums as they don't have a MIDI note length. I also want to delete all these empty notes by right clicking, go to view, go to show hide note rows, and hide unused and unnamed note rows. Now we just see these. Let's make it bigger. Now I want to change the order of the notes. We'll put the hi hats together, control on the PC, command on the Mac, drag this down, put the percussion up here. Now we have the order we prefer kick, snare, hi hats, triangles, and percussion. Now I also want to see the name of the notes on the note. Just right click, go to view, go to piano roll notes, and choose show note names on notes. Now we can see the snare or the kick right on the note. Just makes it easier to see what note we're dealing with. So now to create a part, just click in any of these boxes. I have it set up to be 16th notes and straight. Let's start with the snare. We'll put on the two and the four, and that sounds like this. Now let's put down a kick part. Put one here, and here. Let's add some syncopation right here and here. But I want to swing the feel, so let's delete them and change this from grid 16th notes to swing. And we'll make it about 50%. And that changes our grid to swing. Now we can put the syncopated kick right here and here. I like that better. Now let's move on to the hi-hats. Let's change the grid to eighth notes, 
change the swing to straight, make a paint the eighth notes to play on each eighth note. Hold on all control on the PC, option command on the Mac, and just draw in on the hi-hat. Let's add an open hat right here. Delete this one. It sounds like this. And let's add some syncopated parts with this. We'll put it back to 16th notes, switch this back to swing, and we can add in notes in here. Now I like to click in each box to just see what works. Like I said, just by trying each box, we can find a part we like. Let's do the same thing with the triangle, starting with the closed one and just playing in the second half. Try the open one. And let's hear that. And then finally, we'll do the percussion. I think that sounds good for the drums. Let's move on and add a bass part. We'll make a new track, name it bass, and I'm gonna add a plugin called IOTA Mini, which is a free plugin I showed you in another video. Let's bring up the distortion, bring down the release a bit. Again, we'll create a MIDI item, double click it, and it looks like this. We'll keep the piano roll over here because the bass has pitches. But I'm gonna turn on key snap and choose the key F sharp major. So now any notes we click in will be in the key of the song. Let's follow the kick drum a bit. and a pickup over here. And a pickup over here. That feels pretty good right there. Now it's add a plucked synth. Create a new track. Again, we'll add the IOTA Mini, but this time we'll choose the preset, Pluck Soft. Bring down the reverb a bit, add some delay. Let's hear this sound. Again, we'll create a MIDI item, double click it to open up the MIDI editor. When we open it up, it looks like this. It's already set up with our key we used before. Now we can just click in here, and any note we choose is going to be in that key. So let's start over here, just click. And 
Now let's select all the notes, duplicate them, control on the PC, command on the Mac, but bring them up a fifth. Let's duplicate these notes, bring them down an octave to make it sound thicker over here. Let's add another note over here and another one over here. And just like that, we created a melody just by clicking into different notes and using key snap, every note is going to work in the key. And we did it all just by clicking or left clicking in the MIDI editor. So that's pretty much it. That's one click MIDI programming in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.